Welcome to the Golden Passport Training Zoom meeting. So again, I am Belinda Womack, and it has been my blessing to channel, be a messenger for the 12 Archangels of the Central Sun for over 30 years now. And sometimes the Ascended Masters join in, loved ones from heaven, um, celestial galactic beings, all always loving from all over the great cosmos. And what I can tell you is that we have quite the faculty in heaven that has shown up for this call. So they would like to give you their welcome. So let's see what they have to say. Most brave beings of sound and light, we say to you that your prayer needs to be, your intention needs to be, divinity, my soul, fill my humanity with courage, with direction, with confirmation. Don't let me be in the dark, my soul, my higher self. Let me know. Let me feel so that I can be certain of my path. Beloved brave ones, we welcome you to, if it calls to your heart, well, we know that it calls your heart or you would not be here, to join us in the Golden Passport Training. This is your official invitation Humanity needs you or you would not have incarnated. This is a time when healers and artists and those who have been sleeping, wondering, why am I here? What is my purpose? We say that you came here at this time to bring your goodness, your love, you came here to share your energy, and it is our joy to help you uncover and discover the wealth of treasure that lives within you. It is a vast treasure, but very often what covers it are ego concerns, and you all have an ego. It's very beautiful. But you see, the ego can be easily convinced that you are supposed to be like everyone else and do things in a certain way. Our golden passport training moves all of that aside so that you discover who you are. You open the vastness of your own gifts and you learn how to fill with courage one moment to the next to say ego, soul, spirit, heart is in charge now. You're going to need to breathe and you're going to need to trust. We thank you for being here. We understand that the school of hard knocks is the school of hard knocks, but it doesn't have to be challenging. It can be delightful when you leap into transformation, when you fully surrender to the truth, you change your reality from the inside out. You change the global reality from within you. You are that powerful. And as you do this, as you lift your vibration, you open yourself to receive, and life does get better. It doesn't turn into Shang Shangri-La, we have to tell you, because transformation within you is connected to the transformation within all. But life does get better. It does get happier when you know your purpose. 
And when you allow divine love from source, from Mother, Father, God, to guide you each and every step out of your own past into the present, the present is where you need to be. We're going to bring Belinda back so that she can tell you, what, what is this golden passport training? We send you our love and we say that we are definitely on this call, whether you are here in person or you're, you decide to listen to the replay, we are here. If you have a personal question, hold that in your heart. Your answer will come. We are all ears that you can be sure of. So, beautiful people, the golden passport is, well, it's a culmination of my 30 plus years of teaching. And it's now, you know, most of it is available uh, through the School of Spiritual Evolution in a, I don't know, I guess you'd call it like a mega package. That's what the Golden Passport training is. And it's evolved and it's changed. So I'm just going to give you the highlights. If you want to read about the details, it's right on the School of Spiritual Evolution website. So at this time, the Golden Passport training has the 12 Archangels University in it. So I just have to take a minute, go down history lane. Quite a number of years ago, maybe six or seven, the angels had me begin with the 12 Archangels University. In a nutshell, you are working with the images of the universal weight tarot cards. It's not a tarot class at all. These images, the angels like because they're clear and what the classes do in the 12 AU, as it's called, is it awakens really your third eye. So it's much easier for you to see clairvoyantly. But we want to just back up and say, with your intuition, you always want to feel, you want to feel into that knowing. But some people, because of lifetimes of brainwashing or this lifetime, they can find using that creative imagination to visualize and your creative imagination lives in your divine feminine brain. It can be really helpful when your inner sight matches up with your inner knowing and your inner feeling at that vibration of love. So that's the purpose of the 12 AU. There are so many classes that I have included, the core modules and many others that that alone could easily take you a year to do. And it's up to you. The students in the past have loved it and have been really amazed at, oh my goodness, it works. Well, the angels aren't gonna give you something that doesn't work. So that's the 12 AU. The other thing that's in the Golden Passport so we go forward is the most recent material that I have channeled, which is called the highest vibrational manifesting, highest vibrational manifesting. And this is where you really learn to live in that feminine, intuitive, creative, bigger part of your brain while staying grounded in your common sense. So you still need that masculine part of your brain. That's where the ego lives, but you're grounded. It makes sense. And you'll find that these courses are quite amazing because not only do they help you with manifesting, your dreams come true. They tell you, the angels teach the easiest way is forget about manifesting. We manifest all the time, receive. Get your vibration up there, hold it in the love, 
and let your heart receive for you. That bundle of courses also includes one of, you know, there are, you're going to hear me say this, oh, this is my favorite, this is my favorite, this is my favorite, but it's true. So the, the highest vibrational manifesting, I think we call it the super package, also includes heart power recovery. And heart power recovery, the angels mention heart power in their new book, but this power is the law of attraction, which the angels don't call the law of attraction that law of attraction, but it's the power to attract to you again at the vibration of love so that life becomes easier, right? It just becomes, I, I it becomes like, you know, you've got a golden passport. I don't know how else to explain it. And heart power recovery goes deep. All of the angels courses are super, super deep. And this one is all about transforming the past heartache, your wounded child, all of those layers of lies and beliefs in the subconscious. So it goes really, really deep. And what I want to just say is that the students that have done these courses, they love to do them again and again and again, because it goes deeper. It goes deeper. It's true. Like if you have one of the angels books, I can't even tell you how many times I've had to read their books. I open up the book, you know, show me what you need me to know. And I've never seen it before. And I'm not dumb. I have a very good memory and I'm not crazy. So just so you know, this is highest magic miracle making. The angels know what we need and they know how to get us on track. We are in school here on school rumor. So that's highest vibrational manifesting. And then a course also included is your quick help. That's called freedom, divine rescue for ego. And that's if your vibration falls down, you're having trouble receiving, you're having trouble getting inspired, moving forward. Those classes in freedom set you free and they're quick. They're like 10 minutes or less. So, you know, same amount of time it takes to steep a good cup of tea. Then we come to, this is the big mama daddy, um, accelerated discovery program that the GPers call the GP. So this is where the golden passport gets its name. The accelerated discovery program is a year long. It's a year long now. We've added two additional webinars. Uh, one is taught by Deborah Langford. Again, she's the co-founder of the School of Spiritual Evolution and the chief technical officer. But Deborah's skill set is all about helping spiritual people who are uber sensitive, terrified of that uh, patriarchal old male controlling world, how to create businesses, how to get themselves out there in the world in their way so that you do it in a sacred way. You don't compromise your integrity. And that's what her course is about. And that's part of what Deborah is about. So the other thing about the Accelerated Discovery Program, two other things that I have to remember here is that each month we are going to have a small group mentoring. So it depends on how many people enroll. Uh, we always have the GP, by the way, the accelerated discovery has always been a small group because it's healers. It's people who are very courageous. So that's not like thousands of people. That's just not. Um, we will have small groups zoom meetings that you get to participate in if you want you don't have to and we give a lot of love in those groups you know, really try to uh blend in the angels and you know if it's a business concern we that means that De deborah will call deborah in um you know we want to help you because it's tough it's tough to be so 
sensitive. The other thing about the Golden Passport GP part of this is that we will put you, that means Belinda and the angels, which means really the angels and your soul and your team of helpers will put you in a small community of other students. This always just happens organically. You don't have to participate, but I have to tell you that these small communities of students, the students have made the best friends of multiple lifetimes by having their own groups. So this is not the mentoring meetings where Belinda shows up. This is they get together and they help one another and they discover, oh my goodness, I've known you before. Isn't that something? Because the angels will gather those who have helped and loved and supported um, each other in past incarnations on the earth. And just you belong to the same soul family. So if you've ever been wondering, where's my soul family? You're, you're going to meet some of your soul family. You can be sure. So that's, that's what's included the tuition of i've lowered it the angels have lowered it they know that this is tough times so they've taken all of these classes put it all together and they slice the tuition in half so that's you're already getting a 50 percent scholarship just by signing up now we will have our first mentoring uh, groups on, and again, it depends on how many people we have and your time zones. We've got to, you know, put people together that are going to, so that, so that Belinda doesn't have you getting up at two in the morning. That would not be very nice of me. I need you to enroll ASAP. That means as soon as possible, because our first Meeting is going to be October the 14th and 15th, that weekend. We found that that usually is the best time for people. And the calls are recorded. So if you can't make it, you can uh, listen in if you want. But sometimes these calls are quite personal. You know, we, again, we really try to help people where they're at and with what they're going on, you know, with what's happening. So we do need you. Two, check in with your heart. That's not hard. You go, okay, heart. Okay. Your heart is your messenger for your soul. Is this going to help me? You're likely going to hear a yes because the angels have called you here. And that means you're helpers in heaven. And that's not a sales pitch. That's just the truth. And that's what I've heard from students over the years like I don't know how I got here but I'm really glad I'm here we're gonna open the call now oh so the tuition is $499 a month and um you've got at least two to three years of studies there you can do it really fast if you want you don't have to take that amount of time but we we will be giving, you know, a good 12. Um, that's the intention right now. If nobody shows up, then I can reduce the number of the group mentoring calls because I go with the flow. That's what I'm just trying to, to let everybody know. The angels teaching, it's about you. And when you listen to their classes and their webinars, you're going to think you're the, that, that they created it for you. You'll see. So I'm, I've asked for um, a couple of GPers. These are GP graduates to join the call. And then if I, uh, if I pronounce her name wrong, please forgive me. But Jetan is currently in the Golden Passport training. And she would like to say a few words. So we'll see if I can find her. But we're going to start with... Um, Katie Samwell. So let me find Katie. Katie, can you unmute? There she is. No. Hi, Katie. 
Hi. Hello, everyone. Let me just change the view so I can see everybody. Um, yeah, so Blend, do you just want me to? So when to... you were in the very first? Yes. Was it 2019 or 2020? I was trying to, or did it cross over both? I was trying to remember. Probably crossed over both, but it would have started in 2019. So tell people your name and who you are and what you do, please. Um, so I'm Katie Samwell. Uh, I am a sound healer and um, artist, musician. Um, and when I started the GP, um, so it must have been 2019, I was working in the music industry in a I've been in the music industry a very long time, and it was um, not only soul destroying, but it was body destroying too. I was getting very sick, and um, and I knew there was something better. And I'd been in this job for so long, and I'd done all of these different self help from literally everything for sort of ten years or more. And it wasn't until going through the GP that at the end of the GP. So it would have been a couple of months after, because I think we finished in June. In August 2020, I quit my job in the music industry with a lot of intrepidation and a lot of fear. I kind of jumped off the cliff, but I had all of the support of everything I'd learned through the GP and all the support of the angels and the support of Belinda. And so it's I could have never predicted what happened. I had in my head an idea of how I would like to help people, but that has transitioned and, and weaved around and ultimately brought me back to sound, but in a very, very different way. And um, it led me to making an album of sound healing music, which I had wanted to do since I was 18 years old. And I ended up making it at 50. And it's the album that, you know, I was meant to make. So, and um, yeah, it was, I definitely could not have done that without going through everything that I learned with Belinda and the Angels. And all of the other courses, the the Heart Power Recovery I have done, the and I just wrote Heart, Heart Power Recovery and Freedom for Ego down on my list again, because I was like, I need to repeat those because I've done them both twice now. And I was like, they I need to go back to those for some some uh, little helpful bits of what I'm going through right now. Um, and also the 12 AU, I'm sitting here with the Empress right now and the High Priestess, they kind of sit with me every day. So um, it's a magical, amazing experience. And what you think it's going to be, it's, it's so much more, you, it's kind of like the mind can't even comprehend how amazing and how magical um, the work is. So I highly recommend. <laughs> so and is, Katie, yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt you. My no, apologies. I was going to say, if there, is there anything else you want me specifically to hone in on, Belinda? What did you not like about? <sighs> well, the, <laughs> Come the on. stuff that came up, the stuff that came up, all of the stuff that the, the old male, which some of you may know, or maybe it comes up a lot in the course, the old, because I was very ingrained in the old patriarchal system, the music industry, that corporate, it was a very corporate side of the music industry, non-creative at all. Um, so it was releasing the idea of I have a guarantee, I have a paycheck monthly um, and I need to move away from that and create my own income. How do I do that within this system that is, you know, very much trains us to believe that way? So that is the hardest because of all the stuff that comes up. But if that stuff doesn't come up, then you don't you don't move forward, you know, it's this, it's the, that's the biggest learning. So it was the stuff that was the hardest, but it was, it's created the biggest learning and the biggest transformation. So yeah, be prepared for some <laughs> big releases. <laughs> yeah. yeah but it, that's why we got to love transformation. Yeah. Because, because when we move the fear out of the way, it makes room for love and then love is the energy that attracts in new opportunities and clarity and clear steps for moving forward. So mm -hmm. thanks so much, Katie. And Katie's going to be um, doing a sound healing at our live retreat, our very first retreat here in Montana that 
and starts October the 3rd. So we're very grateful that she's coming. And uh, her sound healing is, it's undescribable. It's, um, she's a real deal, Katie <laughs> Samwell. Yeah. Thank you so okay. much. Thank okay. you, everyone. I'll let you off the hot seat and we're gonna um, hear from Asa in Norway, please. Asa, yeah. there she everyone. is, beautiful Asa. Hi, <laughs> hi. Well, Katie said it all. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we took the same course. <laughs> <laughs> but if I can say something more, I was thinking about um, what happened to me the last two years because it's, I think it's two years since I started. Um, and the biggest or the most mind-blowing thing is that I, I was aware that fear is out there everywhere, but you have to choose love. It's like you can choose. That was my takeaway. Um, uh, because earlier I, I was on a spiritual journey for a long time, but but when I heard you, Belinda, at the Gaia with the Regina, it was like, oh, this is a different language. They are talking about stuff that I understand. And of course, this is the road I, I or the path I want to go. I want to understand what fear is and anxiety and pain and all that. And I want to let that go. And I want to know how how can I choose love? <laughs> because that it's easy to say, but it isn't easy to do. And that's I think that's what I've learned. And I've also learned that if you want to choose, um, you have to be present in the here and the now and that was a very very big big one for me because you know life is going on and you are thinking about the past and you are thinking about tomorrow but it's like oh <laughs> to choose my life and how I want to live my life I have to be here <laughs> here and now so so I think the, the GP did teach me those things and of course it gave me a lot of um, self-confidence on who I am uh, because I've been working as a manager, top manager and all that. And I had my confidence from my work, but to have the confidence in your own, your own person, that was a big takeaway for me in the, in the GP. It's like you have all these journeys. And when I had the, my own journey to the occasion records, I was like, what <laughs> was that me did I do that so you know it's like yeah and also I I, I agree of course with with uh, Kathy that um, a lot of stuff comes up so it's not an easy thing to do it's like sometimes it's very very difficult but it's like a roller coaster you know you are down and you are releasing and forgiving and all this but then you can feel that you are reaching the next level and i i've got the soul sisters i just have to say the things you're saying belinda that you meet your sisters or your soulmates that's true i did we have a group and it's it's amazing and we are for from like the whole world <laughs> so so that's that's yeah yeah i i've said a lot now so Asa, can you share with the with the listeners here a bit of the transformation of your professional work since you've journeyed through the GP? Yes, as I said, I was a, a manager, and uh, and um, now I am retiring from my work, and I've uh, I'm building up a new company or a new. What can I say? Uh, well, a new company where I will work with uh, helping others to find their purpose, to work with their dreams, to find, yeah, to talk to their souls, to find themselves and to do what they want to do or what they, you know, you don't have to stop your work tomorrow, but it's like you can dream, you have a purpose, you can find it, it's possible. So that's what I am working at now. So 
next year or in some months in uh, well in two days <laughs> I can start working because I'm freed from my company <laughs> so it's like wow so so I shifted path totally from working in big companies with a lot of people to now start to work with helping people to be a part of the big change that is in the world now so that's like great so I just want to add one more thing about Asa because and I can get I I'm just being honest I get very attached to the GP students I get to know them and they always live in my heart Asa lives in Norway and so that the the vibration of that country is quite masculine and mental and Asa has really amazingly moved into her feminine, into her heart, into faith within herself. And I've heard through the GP grapevine that you have become quite an incredible coach and counselor. And um, so she's found the healer that lives within her. And that takes courage. But here's the thing. When we don't surrender to the calling of the soul then we can't we can't taste that happiness that comes with that so we may live in the status quo but we don't we don't have that happiness and also also has had incredible trauma in her past and she has developed her own ways to transform trauma some of it you know, we'll use the tools that she's learned in the GP because the tools that the angels give, you're always welcome to use to help others. But uh, how beautiful to be able to help human beings to transform the traumas that keep them stuck so that they can, as she has shared, live their dreams. So thank you for your courage. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, that. Belinda. I'm Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we're gonna see if, and forgive me if I'm saying your name wrong. You you can correct me. Uh, I had to ask Google. Jatan, uh, she lives in Canada. G I T A N E. Are you Hi. on our call? Ah. I sure am. Um, <laughs> Jatan, you're very very close. Jatan. Okay. I, I'm I'm sorry if I cut out my signal. My signal's been cutting in and out. So if I cut out, you might have to jump back in. But um, yeah, my name is, is Jitan. Um, right now I'm in Ontario, Canada. We're we're camping right now, and I'm get the best signal possible. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, I started the uh, Archangels University a couple months ago. I haven't done the GP yet. I'm not a graduate, but um, I'll be in the group with with all of you guys. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I just want to share what uh, what I've gotten out of the Archangels University so far. And um, well, I did the, the heart recovery um, program first and then the Archangels University. Yeah. Ego will and my highest will. And um, it had always led to a lot of confusion for me, how to trust my intuition. And um, the archangels just make things so clear and in such a fun way. And um, and I've been really able to tap into my highest will, my intuition, and kind of live from that perspective a little bit, even though it's, it's only been two months. Um, what it's done for me is it's allowed me to really, really build trust with myself because now I know I have that guidance system and I know how to recognize my guidance system. And, um, and it's, it's bringing me all sorts of incredible experiences and just being able to trust myself. Um, like, yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. I can do this. I, I know, I know where this is coming from. Therefore, I can totally trust my my path ahead um, has been really, really life changing for me. Um, I uh, 
that that and and the way that it's it's presented is i mean this is very very transformational um stuff here like very transformational and i think that um you to be to take this program you kind of have to like that um I, and I think most of the people on this call uh, probably do like transformation. Otherwise, you wouldn't be messing with the archangels. <laughs> Jitan, we're waiting for you to come back. You've done a lot of healing. There she is. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Um, I was okay. talking about um, the the way that the archangels bring their transformation through. Um, is very different than the healing that I've done on my spiritual journey so far which has often felt like ripping off a band-aid um with the archangels it, it's it uh it, you know they they make it they make it fun you know using like the tarot and numerology and even some astrology in there and you know the images and it's not in a fortune telling kind of way it's in a um, really unlocking that um, the intuitive um, feminine divine mind um, and there's some I, I have to go back and do them again because I know I've only just skimmed the surface but in in other courses that I've taken again it's every time you take it again it's like looking from another perspective um, that you that you couldn't see before um, so I'm I'm just really so thrilled to be on uh, to be taking this this uh, the program with everyone here because if 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 I got only a little glimpse of what of what this is it's pretty pretty extraordinary. Well, thank you so much for being on the transformation train with mm. uh, with all of us because it it. It takes courage and it's going to be fascinating to see what happens with you. Yes. Thank you, Melinda. Now, what, what, tell everyone what your career used to be. Um, I was a nurse educator. Um, I worked in, in diabetes and, and with children. And uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, um, my husband and I sold everything we had, well, almost everything, but um, put some stuff in storage and decided to travel the world. And this is something that uh, it had been pulling at me for, for some time. It's like that internal GPS is telling me to, you know, make a turn, make a turn, make a turn. And finally, I just couldn't silence it anymore. And, and, and we did it. And, um, and now we're back in Canada. We're we're still living in a van. <laughs> we're we're um, there. It is right now, actually, and um, and so I this year has been really dedicated to um, the spiritual journey, and this is where where it's brought me, which is incredible, incredible. Well, it's going to be quite fascinating to see what happens with you. Um, as you journey through the accelerated discovery program so uh, I it's going to be fun that's what the angels say and I, and I can see why why they call it the accelerated program because it's it's really like pouring like accelerant on a fire like it, it, <laughs> it is really really um, it's intense but it's fun well uh, you so you haven't you haven't plugged into your purpose yet and that's going to happen very quickly it doesn't mean yeah. you can't continue to travel uh, but that's going to be exciting to see as you discover that yeah so yeah well very thank excited. you thank you for sharing so now i'm going to see if deborah is on our call there, there we is. are can you hear me yes what a morning <laughs> so oh what happened what... the link just didn't I work no idea i was checking links and going all over the place and resending emails i apologize to everyone it's just i don't know i don't know why the id why it came up like that i asked the angels and i was told to breathe and then i was told 
that some people had to learn patience. And um, uh, yeah, so um, so I apologize. And then I was told the people that were supposed to be here, they were called, um, were here. And so it was quite a, a crazy thing. And I couldn't find anything wrong. Um, so yeah, the angels know more than what we do. <laughs> they do. And they know that Mercury is retrograde and they know how to push some buttons because so... Deborah is the chief technical officer. She's a co-founder of the School of Spiritual Evolution. And I want everyone to know she built the school. So she um, took all of my courses and she created a beautiful online school. Uh, because she felt she was, she's 100% convinced that the angels commissioned her um, to do that. And so it's been countless numbers of hours of service and tolerating Belinda's panic every now and then and um so but she's a gp -er, and she's done all these courses so Deborah are you yeah. still glad you're with us yes I am uh some days more than others <laughs> I just wanted to say um uh, when I get to uh, what also said about uh, soul sisters and what Belinda said I found my beautiful soul sisters here as well, which was amazing. And to see their growth and to see them come from corporate environments and all different, you know, um, in the world type of situations. And they've just transformed um, coming into the GP. I remember also on the very first um, day and she and I, she clearly said, I don't know what I'm doing here. And um, and then she has in tra uh, transformed into this incredible healer and um, taking the most, capturing the angels in her pictures and just the transformation has been so amazing. And um, and there's many people that um, that came in with myself. I was, um, you know, I saw Belinda and I came in. And the day that I joined the GP in the very first meeting, the angels told me um, very clearly, oh, you're going to work with an sister Belinda. And that was on the very first um, meeting. And then they said, and I was like quite confused. I thought, okay, well, the angels know, but, you know, I was just a GP coming in, had no idea what my plan and purpose was. Um, and then started the GP the first um, month, and um, it was just so transformational. I started to remember who I was. I started to remember my previous um, embodiments. I started to recognize individuals um, from past lives. Yeah, just amazing. <laughs> and I was part of the business world. Um, this whole spiritual thing uh, was really weird for me. I was also in ministry. Um, I was a pastor for years. And so um, my life has really been um, turned upside down. Um, but and it, and it came about by um, starting the GP and starting um, to listen to things that um, were in the beginning, I'll be quite honest, Deborah's very blunt. <laughs> she says what needs saying and uh, sometimes Belinda cringes. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, you know, I just, um, I thought this was like woo woo weird. <laughs> and by the second or third month, um, my life had changed totally and um, I was, uh, Belinda was, you know, after a couple of months, Belinda reached out to me and she said um, things, that I, was certain things that the angels had said. And we both realized that we were soul sisters and that we'd embodied previously together. And that this was part of my plan and purpose was to build the school and assist um, other healers and other people that come into the GP because of my business background to assist them um, not only, you know, for me, it was a case of um, using the skills that I had developed in the world and then 
my newfound remembrance of self and who I am and my higher self and my inner child to assist those that wanted to do, let's say, business, um, to assist them in allowing them to do their plan and purpose and also continue to build a business. So, um, yeah, so that was me remembering my plan and purpose. And um, and it would never have happened if I hadn't found Belinda and the 12 Archangels. And it happens, and I was clearly told that when it's your time, you'll find yourself on a meeting like this because you're not here by accident. Definitely so, not. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to, to say to everyone, so in a nutshell, Deborah helps healers and creative people figure out how to earn a living. So when I was drafted by the angels all those years ago, they gave me step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. Only after I finally asked them, what do I do, right? And I talk about that in the preface of um, Angel Abundance. But you know, the world has changed in ways that Belinda didn't understand. And so that's why they sent Deborah in to help me. And I had... I had no idea, but I, I really didn't have any idea. Uh, but I've learned a lot. She's taught me a lot and I'm very grateful. So she has skills that it would take way too long to describe, but she, that's what she does. She knows how to help healers and sensitive people um, hone their work in, and package it in such a way that they can talk about it. Uh, so that they can present it to the world, which is, you you might want to use the word marketing, which makes Belinda go, oh, uh, so the word sharing works a lot better, right? We need to share what we came here to do. If we don't share it, then our souls are not exchanging with other, you know, human beings and human beings, that's who needs the help as we lift the human collective uh, up, up, up in vibration to heart. What we're going to do now is we'd like to answer your questions about if you have a question about anything we've talked about or the, you know, anything in the golden passport training. Um, so I want to make sure that we get those questions answered. You can put them in the chat. Uh, we've got, um, you know, I can scroll through people too. So if you prefer to ask your question, then you can go down to the little button on the Zoom screen called reactions and you can raise your hand and I'll just scroll through or you can put it in, um, you can put it in the Zoom. So we've got our first question here. Are there scholarships available? What we've already said is that the angels have, they've already cut the price in half. So you're already getting a 50% scholarship. And uh, what the angels ask is before you say, you know, Belinda, what can you do? Or Belinda and Deborah, what can you do? Um, the school at this time, just so everyone knows, you know, we're, we're not really making any money from this school. We need that to change because that helps humanity. We all need to receive from source as healers because that changes the story for all concern. So what the angels have said for my 30 plus years of working with them is you ask source, you go to source. You always go to source, especially through the divine mother, and you ask to receive in what you need. The thing that we've also done with the golden passport training is that you are, you are making a commitment you know, one month at a time. If you say, this is not for me, it's not like you're signing a contract and you're stuck for a year because we know better. We know life happens. We know what goes on with human beings. So again, you know, if you want to write us and tell us your circumstance, you can do that. But I'm going to tell you up front, the angels are going to tell you 
have you asked to receive your tuition from Mother, Father, God? Have you tried that? And um, most of the time that works. So that's answering that question. Do we have another question? Let me see. Do we have any hands raised here? Okay, I'm not seeing any of those little hands. Oh, here's a hand. Okay, so Julie, can you tell us your question, please? Yes, my question is, what is the time commitment for the class, being somebody that works full-time in a corporate job? What's normally the time commitment in a given week or a month? The webinars for the Accelerated Discovery Program are around two and a half hours, but you want to take those slowly. So you can definitely manage this and you can take it at your own pace. Uh, I don't have any rules. I've learned working with the angels, meaning when we do our first discussion meeting on October 14th and 15th, you need to have done the first webinars so that you have a taste. That's in the accelerated discovery program. You want to have a taste of it. But if you haven't managed to do the whole thing, that's okay. We're still going to help you. So I have students that are currently enrolled, a very small group, because we decided to close the program and just open it once a year to make it easier for people. Um, they are still, you know, they're not done yet, and they could be if they wanted to be. So you can do it at your, you can do it at your own pace. I've not had any complaints, but let's ask Asa because she uh, did the GP while working as a manager in a corporate job. So Asa, are you still here? Yes, you read my thoughts. <laughs> I was going to have my hand up and <laughs> say something. <laughs> Because I think it, you can do it with a with a full corporate job. That's that's okay. Because what can stop you is with some of the seminars if they are like things that are so important for you. So that can stop you, but not your work. Do you understand the difference? Is is like, and you also have a month, and it's two and a half hour. So it's like. It's not the hours, but it's the, you know, what's in it. But for me, it was trying to do it. And it's quite the opposite. You will wait for the next, <laughs> to start the next lesson. So right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, think about it. I would just start. What I've heard is that, you know, some webinars, they're all, they're all deep, but uh, some people process you know, they go, wow, okay, so I, I did that one. Uh, some are, they slow down and they and they do it deep, but it's such an individual experience that I can't give you a, it's, there's no cookie cutter thing about it. If you get the group, that's, that's very, very helpful because if you are alone and you have a busy are busy at work then the soul group will help you a lot because you can ask are you reflecting a lot are you thinking a lot what do you think about this and they will help you you know so i would i would do that if i were you hey, Linda, can i say something yeah. about that quickly um i i for for myself some months you will you depending on what the module is you will perhaps go for half an hour or go through the the, the actual recording um and, um and go to go do the whole hour or two hours or whatever other months um because of the healing that's taking place for you and what's changing for you you might only do 15 minutes and then need to go back and do the same 15 minutes because that's what happened to me I would spend maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, three times doing the same thing over again and then move on to the next section. And then other sections, I would do a whole hour, two hours in one stretch, depending on what was happening and the frequency and what was happening to, with me 
um, in my physical, mental, uh, emotional, my heart space. And so that's why it is different. And um, what also said about the soul sisters is that you get in there and they we discuss things like, okay, so number 10 affected me this way. Number three, I'm struggling with this. And we assist each other. And that has been tremendous because we were able to share and assist each other in that way. So. Thank you, Deborah. I'm going to read Shana's question. So she says, how do you recommend, um, how do you recommend receiving abundance from source so you can share it with others when coming from a place with no money to invest? I have been on this path for six months now and am only losing money. I have read both your books, done all the meditations and asked for it many times. I'll have to go back to my corporate job next month in order to support myself. And I really don't want to any suggestions. So Shana, your soul is in charge here. And what I hear is that you're not done working in the corporate world. And what we tend to do as healers, uh, creative people and people who start on a spiritual journey and please, everyone, take this with the love intended. I was there. You think you, we think we can control spirit. And we have fixed subconscious beliefs that say, if I work for God or I'm on a spiritual journey, then money's going to fall out of the sky and it's going to land in my lap and it's going to, and it's going to take care of me. We are living in a world where money is still controlled by the patriarchal old male. So it's not, it doesn't mean you can't earn your living being a spiritual person, being a healer, being an artist, being a spiritual illuminator, which means a teacher. But you have to have that system figured out. You have to have a way, a pipeline, as Deborah can explain. You have to have those pipelines set up so that you can receive. And so to quit one's day job, before you know what that's going to look like is that may not be your soul's plan in Belinda's plan. I had to do that. I had to leap off into the deep end of the swimming pool, not knowing how to swim. But the reason that they had me do that is so that I would ask, Oh, angels, tell me how to earn a living. And they gave me the step-by-step -step instructions to do that. But it took me, it took a while. Now that law of, that law of heart uh, that you learn about in heart power, it worked and I had miracles happen, but we have to, it doesn't help to have fixed ideas of what it's going to look like. So, and, and I'm just being truthful. I'm a, I'm a bit intuitive and I understand it's not what you want but you haven't learned everything that you need to learn from that corporate job. And we are here. Part of our, part of our homework on Schoolroom Earth is to surrender, surrender the will, the free will to the will of the soul. I don't get you're going to stay in that corporate world, but I get that you're not done there yet. So I can tell Deborah wants to add something. Yeah. She's got the twinkle. She gets a twinkle in her eyes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's one of the biggest mistakes that I say, and I'm using the word mistake because it's not a mistake. It's it's a lesson and, and it's part of your journey is that when we come into this spiritual place and we get excited and we suddenly want to be a healer or, and when I use the word he want to be a healer, we, if you hear, you are some type of healer or, you know, that is, that is part of your journey and your gifting. But what happens is we get excited and we, we just want to jump in and do it. And so we forget to listen. And I'm going to use my friend also again, <laughs> love you, um, because she spent two years in a corporate place, even though she knew after the first month or two of the GP, that this was not her plan and purpose. 
but she had to figure it out first and she had to build a pipeline so that she could a, a pipeline a business so that she was able to sustain herself have the skills utilize the skills from the corporate world build something that was sustainable that brought her income so that she had something to offer not only herself to support herself and whatever but she could empower this new business so unless you have those um you know pipelines built you're going to struggle it doesn't mean that it's not part of your plan and purpose. I remember Belinda saying to me, Deborah, you need to start teaching people. You need to start assisting people. And I was like, and she sent me my first student. <laughs> and I sat there and I thought, what am I supposed to do? Um, I had no idea. But the angels had called me to do this and it was part of my plan and purpose. But I had to build pipelines. I had to build pipelines in order to receive the funds to sustain myself in the spiritual business. And so it, there is a process. And sometimes we're still learning our lesson. And we, we need to make sure. That's why it's so important to connect with individuals and soul sisters and Belinda and myself so that we can put our heads together and figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not in it alone. Hmm. Do we have another question from anyone? Let me scroll through here. Hello. Hello. I'm on mute. Uh, hello, actually, Tim is my name. Tim, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, it's coming up as Tom. But Tim, I just have this uh, history of being on the spiritual path for many years. And sometimes people have the assumption that if people are offering spiritual work. It should be offered for free. And that leads, leads to sometimes sort of what I call spiritual codependency. <laughs> You know, as, as uh, Jesus said, the laborer is worthy of his hire. That it, 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 it's part of the dignity of this, the person who's receiving gifts, who's receiving wisdom, to honor the, the master, to honor the teacher, and to respect the, the, it, the level of consciousness of our planet at the moment which uh, doesn't honor the wisdom of spiritual teachers. That's just my comment. Well, thank you, Tim. Thank you for your comment. So no question? No question. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. I think we're good. Again, if you have any questions about the Golden Passport Program, you can email me or email the school. Uh, I encourage you to please sign up. Let's get moving. Let's get going. Uh, we've got a world to help, and you've got a lot to discover going on with, you know, with yourself. So I have a question here. Um, can I talk about physical healing? No, the angels do have that in their uh, program. Yes, there is a class outline of the GP. Uh, you just log into the school, Belinda Womack School of Spiritual Evolution.com. You go to online courses. It was probably also in your invite. And you just go to the Golden Passport Training and you'll find the, the accelerated discovery schedule is there. So I want everyone to please take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. And you're going to get a blast of 12 Archangel love and love from my heart. Trust, trust yourselves. It may not be the right time for you. If it is, know the doors open. Let source provide for you because that helps the world. All right, so go enjoy your Sunday or your Monday and love to all.